Welcome back. Uh, time to talk uh, football right here on The Breakfast. Uh, it's a season of football, of course, with the African Nations Cup ongoing in uh, Cameroon. But um, we cannot forget about the World Cup. Qatar 2022 is around the corner. And uh, as far as the African qualifying process is concerned, the teams are now at the playoff stage. And um, we've been served an interesting menu. Ghana versus Nigeria. Um, one country only out of the two to go to the next World Cup. We have joining us live uh, via Zoom uh, on the Breakfast Radio Plus TV Africa, Sports Journalist and Communications Director of Andreza Football Club, Mighty George. Mighty George, it's great to have you back on The Breakfast. It's great to be here as well. Thanks for having me. I, I was going to start with a question, um, Ghana versus Nigeria, who will win? But um, I don't know if I should ask you that question because um, <laughs> I think you already know what answer you will give. Um, um, but I'm Ghanaian well, by I'm Ghanaian by parentage. I, I mean, I'm I was born in Nigeria. Oh wow! Okay. Yeah. <laughs> so you better watch That's your answer. <laughs> but who 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 will win at the end of the day? Well, like you said, you know the answer already. Um, the funny thing is that both teams are you know trying to get their acts together after uh, you'd say you know um, a competition's mishap. Ghana only leaving one state before Nigeria, who are the most promising team. And this has actually failed, fueled a rivalry. It's, the rivalry is always uh, quite exciting. Sometimes it gets very dirty on, on social media, but there's are two great football insides. Uh, but the thing is, that they have in common now is that they get to decide on who the coach will be. You know? So the coach would actually determine uh, the sort of players that will be invited and the sort of strategies that will be used. It's a good thing it's a double uh, header. You know, it's over two legs. The first leg uh, on the 26th in Ghana, and then four days later, actually, uh, 24th and then 28th. So um, there's an opportunity for both sides to put up a good performance on home soil. But like I said, they need to first have a coach, and then uh, you know we'll see where they go from there. But Nigeria, obviously, since we started qualifying for the World Cup in 1994, um, you know, we've we've missed only one. That was in 2006, uh, which, of course, that's uh, Angola misfortune. But ever since then, it's almost been like our best fight. For Ghana, well, they just pray to qualify for the World Cup. It becomes, it's become a norm now for Ghana though, not to qualify for the World Cup. But uh, I'm sure that desperation will be there uh, this time to, to qualify. And um, what a matchup this will be. Um, prediction, obviously, I'd say Nigeria, uh, because of what we, we, we showed in the group stage of uh, the AFCON, it shows that we have, we have the players, we have, uh, you know, um, you know the uh, technicalities as well you know, to get past Ghana. But who pilots the team is a big question now. This is a West African derby, uh, if you want to call it. These are two um, English-speaking nations in West Africa who have a lot in common. Um, you know, and what they say usually is that derbies don't follow the form guide. Um, Ghana abysmal at the Nations Cup, going out, as you said, in the, in the group stages, losing to a first-timer, Comoros of all, all nations at the Nations Cup. Nigeria did, didn't play badly, uh, but, but also a bit disappointing, but fared way better than the Ghanaians at the Nations Cup, and the team seems to be doing okay. Um, um, do you expect that the form of both nations uh, at the uh, African Nations Cup will still reflect in this playoff? Uh, well, um, recent form, of course, you definitely get into that. I think so. I think so. And that's what I'm very particular about, coach. Besides, remember, uh, in interviews with the Super Bowl players, they did say uh, we're playing better under Austin and Wyborn because he gives us a freedom of expression uh, that we didn't have you know, on the general draw, who, oh, by the way, we're hearing, um, might just be coach of, uh, you know, Ghana, which is, uh, you know, that, that will be very, very interesting to see the former coach of, uh, you know, uh, Nigeria will be the coach of Ghana. So, it depends on that coach. It definitely depends on, you know, what, um, who, who handles the team and if they can still give them that a room to play and express themselves. This is new look super egos, very much different from what we saw in the past three years. Even though Ben and Trotman getting the job done, this guy's also got the job done and they fell to 
you know, an experienced side as well. Let's let's give it to Tunisia. They they won the tournament about twice. They, they are no pushovers. So it was just a battle of who, you know, which mentality and uh, also which the tacticality progress at the end of the day. Uh, Nigeria obviously have a better form for Ghana. I don't know how they're going to regroup right now. There's talk about you know bringing back Asamoah again. There's Suleiman Tari who just signed for Accra as of you know some days ago. Uh, so they still need to structure that team because obviously what happened at in Cameroon was was a show of shame. It, it, it showed that the Ghanaians was not it was not a team. You shouldn't you shouldn't lose to Comoros. So they have more work to be done. Uh, the Ghanaians, but like you said, it's a West African derby, and uh, even the least prepared team, when it comes to that day, they know that oh, I'm facing Nigeria, I'm facing Ghana, so it's going to be a very, very tough one. But Nigeria, on paper, obviously looks like you know the better side, and would have the upper hand. But who knows? All right, all right. Um, um, we, we can take this uh, officially as a, a wager or a bet between you and I. And you're in Lagos, I'm in Lagos. So um, let's see if, if Nigeria wins, I will. Um, I, I also win when Nigeria wins. But because um, of this, I'll buy, you, I'll buy you lunch at any restaurant of your, of your choice in Lagos. And uh, yeah. if Ghana wins, you buy, okay. you buy me lunch at any restaurant of my choice in, in Lagos. Yeah, yeah. I, you? I mean, you? you get to choose what you want. <laughs> I, I should be able to choose what I want from you, right? So, Absolutely. I, I tell you what I need. <laughs> All right. Well, um, th thank, you you thank you very much. Thank you very much. Thank you very much. Mighty George is a sports journalist and, of course, a thank communications you. director of Van Dreza FC with excellent, excellent analysis right here. We well, always glad to have you and thank hope you. to have you next time, George. Thank you very much. Thank you. Thank you. All right, um, and uh, that's the size of our package on The Breakfast this morning. It's been an amazing time with you, an amazing week with several um, interesting conversations all through. Uh, the weekend is upon us, but we'll return on Monday for a fresh week of discussions right here on Plus TV Africa. From all of us here at our studios, I want to say thank you very much for your time. Do well to follow us online on Facebook, Twitter, Instagram, and of course on YouTube to catch up with our amazing content we have. So simply search for Plus TV Africa. My name is Kofi Bertels. Keep watching.